clitoris. The only organ in the entire human body that's designed for one thing and one thing only, pleasure. And yet so many clits out there are not getting enough love. And it's the single most sensitive part of a woman's body and can be the source of her highest sexual satisfaction. But because it is so darn sensitive, it can also be a source of discomfort. Now there was a giant clitoris work of art called Clit Henge at Burning Man this year. And I've got the pics to prove it. And seeing this got me thinking, in the 400-ish videos that I've made for YouTube, I don't know that I've adequately covered this subject. And because it's impossible to miss a massive clit sculpture in the middle of the desert, but when it comes to the female body, this tiny little organ can be a lot more elusive. And a shocking amount of grown men, even men that are great at sex, are missing it, sometimes by half an inch or more, which I think is ridiculous because when it comes to female arousal and pleasure and orgasm, the clit is it. So today I'm sharing my six steps for incredible clitoral stimulation. And of course, all I can do on YouTube is describe these with words. But if you wanna see me demo them on two live, real human models, then check out my Yoni massage course. The link is in the description. Now I'll share those steps in just a second, but first we've got to cover some of the basics when it comes to the clit. In other words, let's get clitorate. Many people think that the clit is just a small little button-like nub towards the top of the vulva, but actually that's just the tip of the clitoral iceberg. That small hooded button is just the visible part of the clit, but there is a whole internal structure going on beneath the surface, and it is just as important to her pleasure and orgasm as the visible part. In reality, the clit is shaped sort of like a wishbone, with the tip being the clitoral gland and the legs reaching into the body and ending at the vestibular ball which run along either side of the vulva, which is critical or maybe clitical information. About 80% of women report needing clitoral stimulation in order to climax. So now that you know the what's what, let's dive into my six steps to clitoral mastery and making her go wild. Step number one is tease. Like I said, the clitoris is an incredibly sensitive part of the body. And because of this, you need to ease into stimulating it. As a general rule, you never want to start off at a 10 out of 10. Going in too fast and too intense can make her feel hypersensitive, it can even cause pain, and it's definitely gonna ruin the mood. So to start, try going for indirect touch. You can touch her over her pants or over her underwear. Or from the outside of her vulva, using some of the skin from the external lips to buffer between the clit and your finger. If she's wearing pants, you can press your whole palm against her vulva or slide your knee in between her legs and let her grind on your thigh. If she is into it, she will start to push and grind into your body. Anything that creates indirect contact or pressure around the area of the clitoris is a great way to start. This will give her body a moment to adjust to having contact. It will get her wet and get her ready for the next steps. Step number two is love on the legs. Remember that wishbone structure that I told you about? Well, now is the time to start to activate it. And this is what sets you apart because almost no guys actually know this. As I said before, the clitoral legs run beneath the surface, down both sides of her vulva and towards her vaginal opening. Because it is impossible to stimulate them directly, you really can't even feel them underneath your fingers, your pressure here can actually be pretty firm. And there are a few ways to stimulate the clitoral legs. You can firmly place your palm against her vulva, vibrating your hand. Like I said, you could stay still and let her rub on you, and this is great for teasing and building anticipation. But once her panties are off, you're gonna begin by gently exploring the contours of her vulva with your fingers, or later you can do this with your tongue. You're gonna begin by focusing first on the external labia and then the internal labia. And you're actually gonna focus on the area between them. You're gonna work your way up and down from above of her clitoris to the bottom of her vaginal opening, switching from side to side. You can use a finger and some smooth touch. You can stop along the way. You can sort of massage in little circles. Make sure that you are using lube or spit if that's part of your practice with her to create a lot of slickness and not a lot of friction, which does not feel good on the vulva. You can also put 
three of your fingers together and massage in circles. Or coming from the top, you can put your three fingers on her and stroke up and down, making sure not to touch the clitoris too directly with your middle finger. Different women will respond better to different levels of pressure here. And if you're curious or unsure about how she feels, the best thing that you can do is ask. You can always use my tried and true AB test. Do one move and tell her that that's touch A, and then switch to a different move, a different pressure, a different angle, and tell her that's touch B. Then ask if she preferred touch A or B. Simply giving her two options is great because she doesn't have to think about is it more pressure? Is it more speed? Is it a different location? It helps her to avoid getting too much in her thinking head and keeps her in her body, which is where all of the pleasure and orgasms are gonna come from anyways. This brings me to number three, which is focus on the hood. This hood often does not get the kind of attention that it should. Now, the shape and structure of clits vary. Some women have a long hood with a long shaft, others are short, but there's almost always enough skin of the hood covering the shaft and the glands, like the little bean. This is where you should start before you get too deeply into, again, the clitoris itself, the little bean part. Remember that you started by first stimulating the clitoral legs. Only after you've done that, begin to tease her clitoral hood with your fingers. You can gently stroke it, you can give it gentle, gentle little rubs, you can give a little squeeze, you can even grab it in between your finger and thumb and twist it a little bit gently, like the dial on a radio. Just gentle for now. And remember, when you're doing this touch on the clitoral hood, only touch the hood. It is still too soon to get to the clit itself. In fact, some women don't ever like for their glands clitoris to be touched directly, no matter how turned on they are. The hood is like analogous to the shaft of your penis. It feels good to be stroked, touched, twisted, sucked, etc. This is also a great time to remind you that lube is your friend, the clit is sensitive. Think about it almost like your eye. A dry finger, dry things in your eye feels awful. The vulva and the clitoris are the same way. If she's already wet, you can use her own wetness from her vagina up onto her clitoris. If she's not, just grab a little bit of lube. The benefit of this stage is that it feels really, really good for her without feeling overwhelming. But it also gives you a moment to familiarize yourself with her specific anatomy and where the clit is. A lot of guys get excited or they can't admit that they don't exactly know where the clitoris is or where to touch it. So they end up touching in the general area of the clit, but you can end up really missing it. And there's nothing worse than having to awkwardly guide a guy's hand off of the part that doesn't feel good and try to move it to the part that does. So take your time. While you're here, you have an opportunity to look and to feel. You can really like examine her pussy and while you're there, tell her how beautiful it is. Remember that you're creating in your mind a map of her pleasure. Which brings me to number four, kiss her down there. Let me tell you, clits are little romantics. They want passion, they want romance, and what's better than a little kiss? And we think about oral sex, we often think about using our tongues, but using your lips to stimulate her clitoris is seriously underrated. Gently trace her clit with your lips. You can use your lower lip if that helps you to direct your touch. Give it a few soft, slow kisses, almost just like you're brushing it. I mean, think about it similarly to when you make out with her. You're gonna start with a gentle make out, little kisses, and then build up to your tongue. The clit is no different. Feel free, after you've had a little bit of warm up with your lips, to bring your tongue out. But don't give her a full tongue thrashing yet. Remember, building up anticipation. So start with really soft and gentle, almost like you're teasing, but with your tongue. And that brings me to number five, our tongue technique. Now, by this point, she is going to be aroused. Her clit is gonna be engorged. She is going to want more intense and direct stimulation onto her clitoris, and that is where your tongue comes in. Now, there are a lot of different opinions on what to do with your tongue down here, but there are a few key things to remember when you are here trying to please a woman. Now, it is totally okay to make use of the tip of your tongue, but if you really want to bring the best stimulation, you're gonna actually wanna flatten your tongue and keep it firm while you're going back and forth, up and down, or in circles around her clit. Remember that all clits are different, so use the AB test, use it with your flat tongue, and use it with a pointed tongue, and ask her what she likes best in this moment. Remember, her answers might change over time. What you do not want to do is poke her firmly in the clit with the tip of your tongue like a little lizard. 
She may want it fast, she may want it slow, she may want it diagonal, but the key to using your tongue well in oral is to find out what she likes by asking, listening to her body, and then being consistent. If she loves what you're doing, and you can tell, she's moaning and she's wiggling and she's trying to get closer to you, just keep doing that. So many guys get excited when they think that the girl is going to come and they speed up, they increase the sensation, they go harder, and this almost always leads to her losing her orgasm. The clit likes consistency. It likes steady. It likes a good build. So once you've figured out what works, stick to it. And that brings me to our last step, which is the most intense, and that is pull the hood back. One thing that you can do to help her go over the edge is to pull up on her clitoral hood. Again, this is going to make her glands clitoris, the most sensitive part, more exposed. So while you're licking her, as long as she's not literally about to orgasm, in other words, just keep up what you're doing, you can place your other hand above her pubic area, pull it up and lift the clitoral hood thus exposing the glands of her clitoris. This makes the entire experience way more intense because there isn't anything between her clit and your tongue. So you might actually have to soften what you're doing with your tongue to make this feel good. But if you need a move that's going to take her over the edge, this could be the one that you're looking for. But be careful, like I said, this can be too much for some clits. So make sure that you use your A-B test skills and you will be on your way to Pleasure Town in no time. So there you have it. Again, this is YouTube. The format is very limited. I can't really show you these moves. So instead of listening to me describe these, why not see them for yourself in my special course, Just on Yoni Massage? In it, I explain everything I just covered, plus so much more in depth to show you how to pleasure your woman's body in a way that she probably has never experienced before. It goes way beyond everything that we discussed today. Plus, you get a 90-day, no questions asked, money back guarantee. And like I said earlier, you get to actually watch me do this Yoni massage on two different models so you get a real sense of what it looks like on a real woman. Check it out. Again, link is in the description below. Thank you again for watching and take a second to subscribe so that you'll never miss one of these awesome videos designed to make you the best and most confident lover. I'm Caitlin B. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you here next week. Bye.